Good morning, everybody. It's Gina here. Soul Inspired Reflections. Welcome to my channel. Um, and the main purpose, for as many of you know that have been following me, is just to support you through your ascension process, which is organic to each and every one of us. Every single one of us will go through it, and it's a unique process for you. It shows up uniquely for you. For those of you getting on the path, as it might be referred to, it it's not always easy, but it can also be fun and exciting as you are elevating and transforming in your life and in your body. So that is why I'm coming on today briefly, just to share a reminder to you, each and every one of us, as this is recorded on Sunday, August 25th, 2024. We just had a huge influx of light from Lionsgate in July all the way up through the week of August 8th through the 15th, with the 15th is Mother Mary's Ascension Day. And that's a lot of, lot of energy, right? Because bringing it back to yourself, you too are ascending within the body. You don't have to go anywhere outside of yourself. Um it all lives within you. And what I mean by it, the light, the God, the, the source light within you, it's all there. You were, you were seated with it. You came in with that divine blueprint already inside you. It's up to you now to cultivate it. Um, so those of you that are on your path or awakening to it, you may be developing new skills, referring to old skills, letting go of old ones and bringing in new insights as you are connecting you're reconnecting your your wiring, your your connection to source. That also means your neuro networking, your neurology of your body, the pathways of your body, your meridian system. All of that is being upgraded, fine tuned, and changed. So that also means your organs, right? Some of you may be experiencing lung issues. I woke up this morning clearing, clearing my throat, clearing my chest. These things are not uncommon. However, still trust your own intuition if you need to take care of yourself from whether it's herbs, respiratory things, going to the doctor, things of that nature. Um, but just know it may also be a, a sign or a symptom of you ascending. Now you and your body changing is what I mean by ascending. The alchemy of your body, the molecules of your body, you're changing on a molecular level. Um, as some of you know, I recently attended the world 38th, um, the 38th world Congress on illumination. And it was their final one as far as in person through the era of peace. They've been doing amazing work to serve, um, the company of heaven and the light of God. And for those of that follow that, those, um, that way of teaching, right. We'll all find our own way and what we're drawn to. Okay and hold that light within you in your unique way that source has for you to bring it, right? So the way I do it may be different than you. However, the foundational skills, in my opinion, are, are not different. You just have a different language and perhaps it's expressed slightly differently. In my studies through metaphysics and sh shamanism, self-mastery, sacred rays, color, um, the, the core teachings have been the same, just with a different language. And I see it time and time again, whether whether I come across Qigong or whether I come across um, a shamanic practitioner or, or, or an indigenous leader, um, it's time for you, you to step into your empowerment and leadership within the self. So some of you may be noticing as you sit, really like this plasmic, like this is the best way I can describe it. The plasma within you oscillating at a higher rate of speed. Okay. It's like you're sitting still, but everything inside you is moving and you can feel it. Trust that you are okay. Trust that you are okay. This is where your breathing practices, the ability to be in the stillness of your body and in your space comes in um, and is very important, okay? Breathe and do the four-step breathing. I am in breathing. And you're gonna hold for four seconds. 
and exhaling, right, and expanding from the exhale, and pause for four seconds, and you're projecting. So when you in-breathe, I am in-breathing, and as you hold for four seconds at the top of that inhalation, you're absorbing the light of God. And then when you're exhaling for four seconds and then holding at the base, you are expanding. And as you hold, then you're projecting out that energy, right? That goes out into the quantum field. As you're breathing in and working with your divine spark, your threefold flame, love, wisdom, power, indigo blue is divine will, power. Uh, the pink is love and the illumination is the golden ray. The, the, they work together. It's it's that uh, divine spark, it literally in your heart, that's that unseen, but very palpable and felt. Um, even in uh, heart surgeons and things of that nature in the medical field, there's a specific area to the heart that they do not touch because it immediately um, stops the heart from beating. So when I read that to me immediately, I felt, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's where it's anchored. Like you literally snuffed out someone's light unintentionally right so those three flames work together in in harmony and when two when you don't have enough light in you or you're ready to go um you leave at least that's in one way i have understood it um you may understand it a different way again whatever i'm saying take what you need leave the rest or maybe it will activate some other form of thought within you going oh but i see it this way and then you'll have a whole stream of i'll say musings that come in through your i am presence okay so as i talk it's it's activates within you your stream and what you are ready to receive through your heart, through your I am presence. We had a big level of expansion through the heart. So I'm encouraging you to become familiar with the violet flame if you are not familiar with it already. Um, yeah, and begin to use it just a little bit every day. Um, Elizabeth Clare Prophet. The, those teachings are still very valid and you can get a little handbook the saint germain handbook that teaching is still valid even though the language is a little bit older um, the mantras and decrees in there are very valid um, just connecting to your i am presence so that'll be one violet flame and just start with i am the purity god desires i am the violet flame it's a smaller excerpt from a larger decree and mantra and then do that because you're purifying, okay? You're going to ground your body, breathe first, be connected in your body, and then just spend a few minutes as you open your heart to yourself into the light within you and go, I am the violet flame. I am the purity God desires. I'm the violet flame. I'm the purity God desires. I'm the violet flame. I'm the purity God desires. And you're going to say it in multiples of three. And you'll say it with pace, rhythm. Remember, I've talked about the seven activities of creation. You want to also embody and ignite this light within you. Go visit my Instagram page for the seven activities of creation. Okay, it's pinned. It's pinned there. And use it. Practice it. And don't worry about getting it right. Just practice it and do it it's time to be in action and use what your design your body's designed we were all given this um so that would be one so you're going to breathe so there's so far there's three you're going to do the breathing exercises and get centered within your body it's going to calm your nervous system it's going to support you integrate this energy that is influxed into your entire body from a cellular level neurological level and through your nervous system and spinal column and the and your light um, your light body. Number two, begin to use if you haven't already the violet flame 
it's very purifying. It's an alchemy tool. And it, the more you use it and become acquainted with it, its abilities, what the attributes of it will begin to unfold for you more and more. When you invoke the violet fire, you are literally working with the ray of indigo blue, your divine masculine energies, and the uh, pink ray of love, your divine feminine energies, working together to bring your body into harmonics. Okay, we were working with the emerald green ray yesterday, balance and harmony, um, precipitation, okay, and healing, okay. Um, when you work with the violet flame, those two rays, the pink and the blue, make up the violet, okay? The pink and the blue make up the violet. And I find it really funny because it was years, years before I put link that together, which it was so obvious. But at the time, I didn't link it together. Uh, and that's okay. You don't have to link it together all at once. It will link together as you need it to link together. Just be in this foundational practices, okay? I don't, I really don't care how far along you are on your soul journey, because I've met people that are very far along and they don't do these practices and I could see where their work is, okay? That's one of the things that, I'm very good at supporting people, seeing where their work is and go, okay, hey, no, we got to go here, right? You got to be able to look at oneself and then alchemize it. Violet flaming is one of the tools to assist you in the alchemy, right? In the alchemy of your energy, your shadows, your, or the contract within yourselves, the contraction, right? That the things you're, you're willing, that you're ready to let go of, right? Or, um, you're mastering, this is the self-mastery of mind, body, spirit, emotional body, mental body, physical. So when you invoke that violet fire, you are literally igniting and lighting up the core seed atom with, and that's gold. It's that touch of gold that all of us have in every piece, part of us. It's in the whole of life. That begins to get, to get signaled and turned on. So the more you do it, the more you put your body into a harmonic state and begins to vibrate at the frequency of divine love and divine will. And it begins to illuminate within you from the heart, from, the, from every single cell and core of your body and space in between, okay? Using that Merkaba energy, the six-pointed star, for those of you that are a little more advanced, it too directly connects you to the Christ consciousness energies, your avatar self, your 12-dimensional self. When you invoke your pillar of light or your 12-dimensional shield, which I will discuss in further detail when I'm on the Neo Network next month that sacred geometry has light codes in it that assist you in bringing anchoring that level of light from the celestial light, heavens above down through your body and into the earth but you're bringing it in through the body because you're that conduit for light but it's bringing that your your qualities to step further into your five dimensional self, your elevated self um, way of being, okay? And if you don't understand that right now, it's okay, your soul knows. So when you're using that violet fire, you're activating yourself on a core level, a cellular level, a molecular level, and, and within every tissue atom of your body and, uh, and the mitochondria. So that means your organs, everything. Holding that divine blueprint, you can literally restructure and regenerate your body. Okay, that's a that's a beautiful thing that we many of us forget, have forgotten, and we're now remembering that. Oh well, I I can be part of my my wellness process. I can be part of making myself creating wellness for myself every day, no matter what you're going through. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not giving any saying like, you you go through your own unique journey, okay? You go through your own unique journey. If you need 
medical assistance, however you choose to get it, do that. Trust your intuition. I'm not a medical doctor. Okay. I'm a energy intuitive. I'm a master body worker and I assist people through their ascension process and guide them to come back to their heart, trust their intuition and make the best choice for themselves. Not my choice, their choice, their way of, of healing and finding harmony within themselves. Okay. So if that means someone has an overnight, um, like from illness to perfectly fine, then that was them. That was them. They did it. Or if someone has a different journey, it's still their journey. They, their soul will take them where they need to go. Their presence will take you where you need to go in your awakening. Okay. I just guide you through the process to stay in your heart and expand your perspective and be okay as you're changing, right? Because we're changing very fast and with change can come fear because no matter what we're comfortable in, even if you're in the worst circumstances, it's being in the comfort of what's known to you and going through this process more awake to it. I say eyes open in a different way, multiple lenses, and they keep expanding. We're in our diamond heart. It's multifaceted. Um, the ability to, I'll say, hold space for diversity and has expanded so much more and to really appreciate the different perspectives and to really allow what someone is sharing to land in a way that can be honored and respected regardless if I am in agreement with the perspective. Okay. Because I can appreciate, and it's, sometimes it's work, because sometimes there's a little nugget of information in what someone shares that you're like, ah, oh, I'm actually saying the same thing, just using a different language. Or what's beneath the layers? What's beneath the surface of what someone's trying to share or what you're trying to share? This is where you, you pause and give yourself space. So during this time, you're breathing, four-step breathing. You're grounding yourself, calming your nervous system, your violet flaming. That's two. And then there was a third thing that left me. You're beginning to activate your pillar of light. Okay. Which I haven't gone through. I have an older video that goes over the pillar of light a bit. You may want to refer to that, but it's far more technology than before. Um, than, than in that video. Um, so just taking that time to come to your foundational skills and witness what's occurring in your body. Feel, you may feel the subtle movements. Some of you may not, but just trust that it's happening already. And there's something you are evolving right now. You have a choice to step into your highest potentiality that's available to you today. And, and it's always available to you. It's not just today in this, it's in the internal moment of now, and you will know when you step into it and trust your heart more, your presence more, um, and begin to take one step and then another in that timeline, I'll say, or trajectory in your life. Okay. It's a trajectory. It's a trajectory and there's no wrong choices, right? So even here is an invitation for you to let go of that language of agreeing and disagreeing, right and wrong. Just let go of it. The, the more you let go of it and just go, ah, aha, uh -huh, okay, I hear that. What And then go into your presence, go inward. Go inward into your own heart, to your own presence, your higher self. Bring that energy into you and you sit. You allow yourself to sit with it and be like, what's true here? What's true here? Which way do I go? Show me. Show me the sign. And you will feel it through the body. 
in your own language because it won't be hardened. It won't be contracted. You'll be with more ease, with more grace, with more joy, even when there's disruption. So pay attention to that because that is your guiding light. You are your guiding light. Your body system is your guiding light of intuition, um, higher sensory perception, um, your trust and foundation in this world that we are rebuilding together and you were rebuilding your light body to receive higher frequencies of energy. So that is what your body is feeling is that influx of solar light, right? Some of you um, may not even be aware of it's occurring and that's okay. Some of you are. Um, and like people, so many reference the metaphor of the mountain, right? And base camps, right? And you have to get to altitudes and acclimate, right? So this is another place where all of us are acclimating exactly where we're at. And there, we're in a pause, a restoration, a um, like some hikers, what you thermoregulate when you're up in higher altitudes and the weather changes, the weather inside you is changing, so allow yourself to regulate and learn the tools that are going to support you to regulate nature, meditation, breathing, violet flaming, your 12 dimensional shield. You can sleep when you need to take time when you need to change your schedule. If you feeling like, Hey, I need to slow down here. So I can be present with what anything that I'm doing. Okay. Because what's occurring in your body, that plasma light inside you is oscillating and restructuring on a molecular level, cellular level, neurological level, um, light. I'm Gina Libido, Soul Inspired Reflections. Be sure to like and share if you find that some of this supportive to you. Um, if it's thought provoking, share, share your insights. We, we elevate each other, share your insights. It would be really purposeful and mindful. This is a place of peace and harmony and to support each other, walk each other back into our own hearts and experiences and really hold that container of love and ascension um, for each other, but, and for yourself, right? So the more you can hold it for yourself, the more you can hold it for others, okay? And I'm being reminded right now as I'm talking um, to weave in, weave in. I don't know if you're familiar with Lauren Gailey. She's of the Neo Network. She said to me one time in conversation, she saw weave in the Hawaiian prayer in your language when something's occurring. And I thought, oh my God, that's brilliant. Like if you have some sort of conflict with someone or it's a misunderstanding, because a lot of things are just misunderstandings, right? Because we're all going along our own world and and we have very different experiences of the same thing. It reminds me of law enforcement. You have briefing and everyone has a different experience of the same event and it brings in clarity to things that occurred, right? So if you let go of having to be right, because some of us want to be right and love it, that's that's just going to bring you discord, right? It's just going to just go back in and go and let go of being right because there is no right or wrong. There's many perspectives that are valid and valid for that person and valid for you. So you weave in when there's some sort of misunderstanding and you let go of the rest, even though you know something to be true. You weave in the, I'm sorry. You weave in the, please forgive me. You weave in the, I love you, even if you're just emanating it from your third eye and your heart into the air and projecting that out. You, you, you weave in the forgiveness and I love you and I'm sorry, right? You weave it in through your language and you will watch that situation completely change. Sometimes instantaneously, sometimes takes a little longer and that's okay. Weave that into your language and weave it in for yourself as well. It's not just 
people outside of you. That practice, you can also begin to make it part of your morning practice too, of grounding, being at peace with yourself, breathing, violet flaming, activating your pillar of light, and the Hawaiian prayer. Even if you're not sure yet on what you're doing, the more you practice it, it begins to awaken you. And you begin to feel it. You begin to believe it. It becomes experiential. Because ascension, through my experience, um, I'm through the lens that it's an experiential process. You'll experience it. And my deeper purpose is to support you build the tools and foundational skills of your light body mentally emotionally physically spiritually and with the, the rays of light and some simple practices which with nature connection and an invocation mantra decree and sound the power of your word song clearing out your throat chakra to support the wellness of your body emotionally mentally physically spiritually Hi, guess I see you. And so you can be empowered along your ascension within your body and how you choose to walk through the experiences of, of life and the way you relate to this life through a different lens. I'm Gina, Soul Inspired Reflections. Again, like and share this video if you find it supportive. Much love to you.